nasty. Totally awesome. Mahalo everybody, Big Daddy here, Big Dick Ballistics, coming at you today with Z-Bolt Electro Optics. So today we're going to be reviewing this LED handheld light. It also serves as a weapon light, and it is amazing. It's totally awesome, and you're going to love it. But before we get into it, everybody, go ahead, if you're new to the channel, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, see all the new hotness coming out. If you don't know who I am, I am a law enforcement firearms instructor in the biggest city in the United States. So here to bring you gun and gear reviews with that big dick energy. So let's get into it. So the oldest form of night vision out there is the white light, right? Um, and in time, technology has grown, tactics have grown, and there's always been misnomers with lights and stuff like that. And uh, we've grown through those misnomers as far as like, you know, how many lumens, how much output, how much of a spread we want, whatever, at certain distances. Let's talk about CQB, right? Close quarter battle, moving through houses, handheld lights with a pistol, rifle mounted lights, weapon mounted lights, whatever. They always used to say, oh, no more than 200 lumens back in the day because we don't want that splash back. Um, and smoke from discharged rounds would give some kind of glare back, some reflection with the light and it would be a mess. And that was like the late 90s, early 2000s, right? When we had like, you know, incandescent lights to xenon and now we're at like low level LEDs. And now in 2023, right? We want to throw everything as high powered as we can at them, as concentrated as we can, nice center candela, whatever, and just blow their asses out of the water. Effectively, light is a weapon, right? Hand lights are life. Uh, I can't stress that enough when it comes to running a handgun. Um, they're very important and nobody's better than them. Everybody always wants weapon mounted lights and that's cool. It's a great tool in addition to mastering your handheld light. I have mod lights, Malkoffs, cloud defensives, uh, all sorts of nice stuff. And a friend of mine turned me on to Z-Bolt Electro Optics and they have LED and LEP technology that is just downright crazy. Today we're gonna to be reviewing the LED and we'll get into the LEP another time. I actually did a review. Um, you can see right here really quick. 50 yards out to 300 yards. And I'll even zoom in on these clips while I'm narrating. Um, the potential for this thing is real. It's also great as like a designator. 150 yards. And that is 300 yards. Insanity. You can see the back stanchions back there. So it's a little overcast out. But this thing is better than my. Of the LEP technology, uh, and that was out at my 300 yard range, um, just showing the comparison between um, an aviation crew chief handheld spotlight and the LEP technology from Blazer. And it is out of this world. I mean, if to identify a threat from 300 yards away with a hand light this big, it's just, it's insane. You can't go wrong with that technology, especially for the price. So let's look at what Z-Bolt sent us. So they sent us a kit right here. It comes with a light head, battery, charger, charging cable, weapon mounted light body, uh, uh, on off switch, like a tail cap switch. So we'll unbox that right now. It comes beautifully packaged. And I forgot to mention, it comes with also a theorem ring, which I think is one of the best things that you could get for your flashlight as far as accessories go. So let's put this together in the handheld configuration and we'll talk about the specs. So what we have right here, the body, all right? This body is for an 18350 battery, okay? comes with a theorem switch and it comes with a momentary as well as a consistent on off so that's cool very compact very lightweight all right and then we have our extreme throw led light head all right by z-bolt not lep led now now the difference between this and a mod light okw as far as specs go are not all that different. This, the Z-Bolt, 65,000 candela and 650 lumens. 
the OKW is about 69,000 candela and 680 lumens. So we're not that far off, all right? But this has a targeting reflector in it, and they guarantee 200-yard beam throws, 200-meter beam throws, whatever you want to, you know, call it, okay? But I'm telling you from experience, this thing is nuts. I've been carrying it work on me, and I'll show you. I'll go to the clips, but I'll shine it over my shoulder, and you can see how hot that candela is. I mean, it is insane. And the LEP blows this out of the water. Um, that is, I believe, a class one laser. It's considered um, phosphor laser, something like that. We'll get into that, like the real breakdown of the specs in another video. But this, all right, consider light as a weapon. If you're shining this at somebody, they're going to drop what they're doing. Unless they're totally batshit crazy and have like Superman style vision, Cyclops style vision, they're not going to be able to defeat this. This light is designed to punch through tints, um, defeat photonic barriers. If you don't know what a photonic barrier is, look it up, all right? Um, it's complicated and a lot of science, so I'm just a dumb street cop. But again, it's concentrated and it's going to get the job done. They also make a Kydex belt holder for this thing, but I was carrying a high speed gear uh, single pistol taco and it works just fine. Um, theorem ring is awesome. Lightweight, it weighs nothing. Uh, aircraft grade aluminum, it's got beautiful anodization on it. Um, they're serialized, they have the data manufacturer on there. They're just great. So we go to the video clip. Uh, while I was on the street, somebody was shining a green laser on me from a uh, seven story window of public housing development or whatever. So I was like, you know what, this would be the perfect time to let them know I'm here and I'm not gonna take any shit. And I shine this right back at them and it was ridiculous. So we'll check that out. So perfect reason to have a Z-Bolt LEP flashlight on you. Somebody's shining a green laser on me from the seventh floor of a housing building. So let's shine back at them. So it was coming from right there. Let them know we're here. So there you have it. Looking seven stories up. Uh, I was probably about like 40 yards away from that building going up, you know, add another seven to 10 yards to that. So that's a 50 yards. Then on top of that, we shined it out to about 300 yards at a water tank on, on top of a residential building. And it was just insane. You could see the focused beam. It was very humid out. It was probably 85 to 90% humidity. But again, these things are lightsabers, guys. They really are. And the fact that they come with the theorem ring, I mean, if you didn't think about buying one, or you're like, oh, what's the size of it? Does it fit? If you're new to all this, like, tactical cool stuff, I mean, but it is really good stuff. I mean, it just works. It's a force multiplier in your arsenal, especially if you train with it, right? Because if you're not training with it, it's not going to do anything for you. These are great for targeting on long guns, all right? Let's say you don't have nods, right? You can't afford them or it's just not in what you use on a daily basis. Uh, you want to keep it on a patrol rifle with an LPVO, this is good to go. At distance, you'll be able to identify threats, all right? And if you can't articulate your threat, you can't take a shot. This is gonna do it. So we're gonna put this on my DMR and we're gonna come back. Um, it's an HK MR556 A1. Um, I have a LPVO on it, a Steiner, best name in the industry. Um, <laughs> I have a Steiner one to four on there and I'm constantly whacking chest sized pieces of steel at 300 yards all the time with it. Um, so yeah, I'll check it out. Let's see this thing bare bones and then we'll go ahead and install the laser body on it. So guys, this is a go-to of mine. Um, if there was ever like a shit hits the fan type kind of moment. Um, yeah, nothing special, one to four. Again, you guys think you need all this magnification. Yeah, you do. Um, two, two, three, going out the distance to put somebody down. It works. It really does, especially with this like 
855A1 and 77 OTM that's creeping its way into the civilian market. Yeah, there's a lot of military stuff actually finally getting out, so that's cool. Um, but even with 55 grain, you know, just ball ammo, this thing groups well. It's HK quality, but I want to enhance its capability, all right? I don't plan on throwing nods on here, um, any kind of IR laser, uh, targeting system, illuminator like that. I just want to keep it light and simple because after all these years, I'm tired of carrying extra equipment around and stuff around. Um, so let's mount this thing up. So we have this on a Arisaka mount. I have it far forward, but I'm not having it protrude past almost like that light bar. So I'm going to put this on. It actually looks pretty good, and a lot of purists will be like, oh, surefire, nothing on an HK. Like, get fucked. Train harder. Train more. I don't care what you think. So that looks pretty sexy. Now they sent us their own tail cap, so let's check this out. It's compatible with, like, the mod button, other crane-style buttons and tape switches, so check that out. So this is their dual-function tail cap. And I wonder if I'm going to be able to get it on this thing after I already installed it. Let's check it out. Hopefully we shouldn't have an issue. But again, it's got a spot for that crane style uh, plug. And it'll fit the mod button. So you can see right here, it's got this uh, piece jutting off the side. So you could actually spin this independently of the other thing. So if you're worried about having to assemble this thing... And which comes first, the chicken or the egg, it'll go right on. This has got a momentary and a steady on off. So that's cool as well. Everything's nice and tight. The anodization is great. It's really nice. So this is a pretty beefy setup. The button, I have to grab a different one. I didn't grab a compatible one. So I'm going to have to go back. But this is going to be totally nasty as far as... Doing some distance work, identifying a target. Um, it's not in the way. And it just looks great. It really flows with this rifle. This is their LEP head, which we're not going to get into today. But if you look at the reflector in there, it's a thousand percent different than anything you've ever seen. What's nice about the Z bolt line, uh, you could use 18350s, 18650s. It came with a charger that'll handle D, all of the above. So that's good. They also make adapters, so it'll go from a mod light body, their same body style, to a surefire dual fuel um, or a scout light or whatever. So that's very important too that you have that versatility. So if you always want it upgraded, and usually they run killer sales around the holidays or whatever, and randomly, you know, so be it. But if there's not a sale going on, you could DM me and I'll give you my discount code. Right now the amount of money you off is like 19%. I only have 15%. So if you were thinking about buying one, you need a good duty, patrol light, weapon light, whatever. The time is now, folks. 19% off. That package right now is 168 minus the weapon light body and the momentary cap for the weapon light. So you're getting all that for 168, the complete setup. An extra battery, a really good beefy charger. If you don't need the charger, the batteries, you take 20 bucks off of that. So 148, you can't go wrong. You're getting that theorem cap, all right? And you're getting something that's going to be giving you that force multiplier, that advantage. Uh, my friend, he teaches a course to Parisianers, uh, parish goers. Uh, Light is a weapon, Kevin from Sudden Storm Tactical. He's awesome. You should check him out. He's on Instagram as well. His videos are totally shitty, though. They're like... 1980s early 90s style but kev you're a great guy i love you <laughs> but oh my god but yeah guys so z bolt electro optics check them out um again check us out check out everything else we do i have shooting tips on the channel all this stuff with big dick energy gun and gear reviews check out our merch all right every dollar you spend on us i put it right back into this z bolt again was kind enough to send me this for free uh to do some testing and evaluation on but Give them a follow. Give them some business. They're an American company, and they really put out good stuff. They have IR illuminators, uh, EOD lasers, all sorts of stuff that will help you perform your mission and dominate in the battlefield. So, guys, thanks for watching. Remember, train yourselves, your family, educate yourselves, vote right the way, and stay safe.